Hi, I'm Tracy Anderson, and you're watching People.com. I'm really excited to be here today to show you the proper way to stay sexy forever. The first exercise is a second position plie. You're gonna start with your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, and bend and straighten. Make sure that you're bending your, your, your bottom right to the ground, and that you're not scooping it out like that. Do as many of these as you can. Try not to take breaks, though. If you can only do five or 10, that's fine. I want you to get up to at least 100, though. For the next exercise, you're going to need to grab a chair. This exercise is called the butt pulse. So, you're going to straighten your leg behind you. Lift one leg. The leg is going to be lifted as high as you can, and then you're gonna lift it up to the ceiling, just a little tiny pulse. And I want you to arch back into this movement. You should really start to feel it right on the side of your glute muscle here. This exercise is called the outer thigh flex and point. Feet together, um, shoulders down, hands on the chair for balance. Lift one hip slightly and you're gonna flex your foot and then point it out to the side. Lift and point. This exercise is called the double attitude lift. Hands behind your head. Feet are gonna start stacked on top of one another. I'm starting with my right foot over my left foot. Crunch up, slightly bend my right leg, slightly, not like this. Lift it to 90 degrees, hold the crunch, and the other leg is gonna come up and hit, and come down, and relax back. Lift, hold, down, and back. And then you're gonna do the left leg up. This is the advanced pike exercise. You need a three pound weight, you lay back on a mat and extend the weight over your head. To get good at this exercise, you need to take your time in breaking it down if you're not very strong with your abs. So you can just start by raising the weight and crunching up at 90 degrees. The exercise actually looks like this, where the legs come up and the arms come up and you, you meet them at 90 degrees. And then the legs don't ever touch the ground. They lower to the ground, but not all the way. And you use that momentum in your lower abs to bring them right back up. Thank you so much for training with me today. The most important thing is that you're consistent, and that you understand that fitness needs to be part of your lifestyle and you need to have fun with it. So, so make sure that you're just feeling good about moving and getting strong and getting fit and have fun.